Alright, we're live. First things first. These are our advertisements. Brought to you by Atlantic State Fence Company, 215-796-5986. Don't know why I'm doing it, seeing nobody watching. I'm watching myself. Galaxy Handyman Services, 267-278-8296. You can't see anything on there? It says people are on it. Yeah, it'll tell me. Yeah. Okay. Afterwards, yeah. How many viewers and whatnot. All right. Uh, who are we going to start with first? We're going to start with... Let's do some stupid jokes real quick. Huh? All right, we'll be out here. Let's put the photos on with this. Okay, so how about that? All right, let's get to the jokes. Why are ghosts bad liars? Because you can see right through them. Why did Santa go to collect, go to college for music? So he could improve his rapping skills. Ha ha ha. How did the barber win the race? He knew a shortcut. What do you call a parade of rabbits hopping backwards? A receding hairline. Why does Snoop Dogg always carry an umbrella? So drizzly. Why are frogs so happy? They eat whatever bugs them. I think that was yesterday. We said that. How do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in it. Maybe two more. <laughs> These are so stupid. Sometimes you laugh. What do you call a pudgy psychic? A fortune tiller. A fortune tiller. Teller. Yeah, fortune teller. Thank you. Fortune teller. Oh, fortune teller. A fortune teller. And last but not least, what does the ocean do when it sees its friends? It waves. Ah, Richie got it. All right. Now, I think this was interesting for all my no viewers. Hold on a minute. I get there in one time for my stupid stupidity. Hold on a minute. This is from. The world in 1960 is from the, uh, I'm getting back to our times, the illustrated history of the 20th century. What'd you say? You're getting all different things now for work. You're invited to apply this. You're invited to apply here. Invited That's because they, they, it, it's like a, uh, you're on a list now. All right. So this is a little bit of history in, in 1960. World population back then was 3.2 billion people. Even more now than that. There's over five billion. Yeah. Uh, Africa sheds imperialism. You see what that is? The slow death of European co colonialism in Africa became official in 1960 with the sudden arrival of 18 new sovereign nations. By 70, there were 16 more. By 90, when Nubabi, Nubabe, formerly German colony of Southwest Africa, occupied since 1915 by South Africa, became independent. There were no more European colonial territories on the continent. Europe's 
percentage was marginalized even further as the two post-war superpowers, the Soviet Union and the United States, began using the continent as a playing ground for the Cold War. In 1960, they defeated polio. The development of the effective vaccine against polio very nearly eradicated a dreaded and deforming disease that struck partially hard at the young. Uh, fashion essential back then. A gray flannel suit like this model form Books Brothers was the uniform of the choice for corporate males, established as part of language by Sloan Wilson's 1955 no novel, The Man in the Gray Flannel Suit. Credit made easy back in 1960. The first credit cards were intended as an easy way to for consumers to charge purchases without having to come up with the cash at that moment. But, uh, state of the art back then. In a single decade, television went from novelty to mainstay. By 1960, 89 percent of American households boasted at least one TV set, up from 9 percent in 50. By 90, television was all but universal, found in some 90 90 percent of American homes. The space race in 1960, when the Soviet Union launched Sputnik, a 184.3 pound, 23 inch aluminum sphere into space in 1957. The United States scrambled to compete. America's first, America's first two Vanguard missions were failures. The British press dubbed them Kaputnik and Flopnik and overshadowed the success of Explorer 1 in 58. By 60, the Soviets had achieved a dazzling record of firsts while the United States was still playing catch up. A fact that would help put two Americans on the moon before the decade was out. And last but not least, what what we knew in 1960, I didn't know shit, I wasn't around. Uh, right. Swimming around. Although there was increasing evidence that cigarette smoking is not healthy, the majority of Americans who smoked some 70 million people with an annual consumption amounting to 3,900 cigarettes per belt continue to believe, along with Los Angeles surgeon I.G. McDonald, that smoking has a beneficial effect. <laughs> Maybe it does. U.S. confidence in the presidency of Nitro Din Dem of Vietnam is high. We were told nobody could save Vietnam and Diem was no good. President Dwight D. Eisenhower has said, but now look, the praise is retaliated in 1961 by Vice President Lyndon Johnson, who calls Dem the Winston Churchill of Southeast Asia. Disposed Cuban dictator Fidel F F who is F Figur oh, Batista, speaking from exile, gives his successor Fidel Castro a year no longer. Scientists express unbounded enthusiasm for thermonuclear power. Many believe in the worlds of University of Maryland professor John S. Troll Toll that it will enable most of the world's industrial and food needs to be met for centuries to come. Among the many predictions, free, unmetered energy for, for all within the few decades. Yeah, right. Atomically fueled ships, aircraft, that's true. Locomotives, automobiles, not automobiles. By, by 1980, the atomic right radiation to sterilize fresh food. Two more things, and that's that. The use of DDT, the number one pesticide in the world, has pushed post-war agricultural production to undrained levels. But scientists have begun to notice that some insects become immune to it, while birds that preyed on those insects are disappearing. They don't use DDT no more. 
Although parents have embraced the increased pre-missives and more flexible, non-violent approach to child rearing, advocate that that was the mistake there. Dr. Benjamin Spock, a poll of elementary and secondary school teachers, find that 72% support the use of correct rational policy. And with that, we want to go to a break. That was what we know in 1960. All right, we'll be back.
All right, we're back. Before we get on to our next bullshit, I want to just read something that we were doing last. Uh, uh, one other thing, 1960, the story of the year was a wall divides Berlin. Real quick. A crimp convoy of tanks and troops wound through eastern Berlin in the pre-dawn hours of August 13, 1961. By sunrise, East German soldiers have stretched barbed wire across the city, cutting off the communist sec sector from the capitalists. The wire was soon replaced by a network of concrete walls and electrified fences guarded by armed men, dogs, and minefields. A 30-mile-long barrier separating German from German. Churchill's Iron Curtain metaphor had become reality. Built to keep out saboteurs and sub, uh, subvisors, the Berlin Wall was in fact meant to keep East Germans in. Since 1949, 2.5 million have fled the economic hardships and political repression of Germany's communist half. Right there just shows any of you left-wing liberal fascist communism has to be destroyed. Anyway, creating a labor shortages and a brain drain of professionals and skilled workers. West Berlin, an island of democracy and capitalism in the midst of East Germany was the principal escape route. Since thousands of East Berliners worked in West Ber Western Berlin before the wall was built, the factors could usually evade detection. Through the years, the Soviets had he periodically demanded that all Berlin be made a free city with both Western and Soviet occupation troops withdrawn by the Western powers. Fearing a total communist takeover had refused, in June 1961, Khrushchev threatened to use nuclear weapons if the Berlin question was not swiftly resolved. When heightening tension at the, at the, went up the stampede of illegal immigrant emeries 30,000 east germans defected in july communist authorities decided to stem the flow by force the wall was their solution henceforth travel eastward would be subject to tight restrictions and travel westward banned no crowds of angry west berliners confronted the wall builders only to be deprived with tear gas and water cans and the United States sent an extra troops in as a symbolic gesture. Fear of retaliation ruled out more forceful measures. A trade embargo against East Berlin was considered, but the communists vowed to blockade the West Berlin in response. Eventually, the East Germans encircled all of West Berlin with a fence topped by watchtowers. Travel restrictions for Westerners eased somewhat in the 80s, but the wall and all it stood for remained intact for nearly three decades. That uh, was the story of the year. All right, now, I want to do a little bit of painting. This is my new next painting that I'm doing. Do like five minutes of it. Turn it to it. Hold on. Uh. Let's get started. Okay. This is where we're going to be quiet. You just got to watch and be bored off your ass. Let me get that into the production. Hold on, guys. Uh, hold on. Meaning. By minute.
I'm going to send you some way from it because I can't see it. I can't get a picture of it. Alright, we're gonna have to wait for the block to them. Yeah, that's fine. Wait till I'm on break. Oh, you got your file, okay. That's what you're saying. Alright, alright, you'll be. I'll check when I come back down from the shower. That's all. Yeah, go out and get it. When you come down, I'll be on break. If anybody wants a painting of something and I can do it, it's forty dollars, forty dollars an hour. Forty dollars an hour. That's how I charge. Huh? Go to somebody else then and get a painting. It's supposed to be, which as the painting goes on, you'll see they're like angels and stuff. And this is obviously a tree and the mountains in the back.
Doing a variety of different colors. If it makes sense or not, I don't care. It's my opinion. There's a little bit of outline in here. Excuse me.
This is a like a lime green that I'm putting right now for a sky. Some mumbo jumbo. <laughs> anyway, all right, so we'll continue tomorrow with the painting. Now, before we go to break, I just want to show some some more paintings that are for sale. Give me a minute to get set up with that. Yeah, hey, yeah, man. All right, so here's some some more paintings. And I'm, before I go to break, I'll give the website. I forgot yesterday where you can buy them if you want to purchase them. This one's called the Log Cabin. I painted it in 2021. The price of this is 34.99. This one is the new Batman and Robin. This one is $24.99. I painted it not too long ago, 2022. Like I said, I'll give you the website where you can go on the card This one's called the Crucifixion. I painted it in 2022, and this one is 1999. The next one is called Wild Tree. I did this in 2021, and this is 1899. This next one is called Alaska. The I came up with that name. It just looked like Alaska. It was big mountains of snow, cabin with the lake. I did this in 2021, and this is 1599. Here's one I just did last week, over the weekend, I think. This is uh, the new, the young one, the new movies with the Spock and Kirk. You know, the new guys, the young guys have played them. It's called the Young Star Track. I did it. It's fourteen ninety nine. That's a good deal for this one. Done twenty twenty two. This one I did last week too. This is a uh, George H W Bush, Ronald Reagan, and and Gorbachev standing right near the Hudson Bay, in New York City here, and they're looking. I don't know what they're looking at, but that's when Gorbachev was. Based in the United States, but we're still the Soviet Union. And this one is 1999. This one, a lot like this one, called, for, it's called Blooming. I did this in 2022. So it's 1599. It's a good day. I like this train. There's three here that I'm going to show, and then we'll go to break. This is 
called Joker's Ride. And this is with uh, Heath Ledger when he played the Joker. That's that's Heath Ledger playing in the room in the car with us. Head out the car driving in Gotham. This one is fifteen ninety nine. This one is called the Mountain Top. Twelve ninety nine. It is twenty twenty two. Last but not least for tonight. This one's called The Devil. Did this in 2021. It's 1599. And before the break, we'll give you that website. One second. It is. I'm going to say it as I do, and I'll show it. H T T P S dot dot slash slash W W W dot Matthews. Dot. Go Daddy. Go Daddy. Sites. Dot com. It's all lowercase. That's where you can go to purchase those paintings. HTTPS two dot slash slash www.matthews t a i n t i n g s dot g o d a d d y s i t e s dot com Matthews Paintings dot co daddy sites dot com that's from Matthews Paintings and stuff the online income store and with that we're going to break. Be back early.
All right, we're back. Uh, this segment, well, first, let's go again. Brought to you by Atlantic Interstate Fence Company, 215 796 596. And Gallagher Handyman Services, 267 Yeah, hey, it is. It's good. It's working. I just want to show you a couple things that I have for sale that are in the e-commerce store, but they're on this store, too, right here. Um, This is a tiki bar. Now, you put it on order. You put it up next behind your bar or down in the main cave or something. You get this for $5.99 plus your handling. I'm actually told him the main cave, we've got the sign. The main cave, hang that up so you can get away from the boss. You know what I mean? Sorry, ladies, if any of you are watching. But we got to go hide out. This this same thing, $5.99 for shipping handling. And then this, this is a good thing. Uh, oh, this is a marble, wood, wood marble case. And it is. Any of these are poker players out there. It's a chip holder with two decks of cards. You know, so Friday night, Saturday night poker game. Get it out. Go try to win or lose money, one or the other. This is $24.99 for shipping and handling. Buy with, with the painting, get it for $19.99. Special. And anything else? Oh, yeah. oh sure. yes. This is the. These are wine holders. A good, good gift idea for holiday. Put the wine in here. You know, do that. And it's five ninety nine for shipping handling. Again, you can go to this right here. This was a https dot dot slash slash www dot Matthews paintings dot godaddy sites dot com. It's right there. All right. Now, oh, we're going to do our annual magic. I'll give you a screen of magic trick for you that you can watch. Hold on a minute, guys. Single ones. Get it levitates between the magician's hands. The card visually changes color. The coin turns to a card. The box instantly disappears. The middle card changes from black to red. The magician takes a deck of cards and shuffles them. He then takes the top card and tells the spectator he will rub it into the table and make it disappear. He rubs the card, but it doesn't disappear. He tries again, and the card disappears completely. This is a very simple trick. Take a card and try and rub it into the table. This will of course not work. Put the card on the side of the deck as shown and practice using your thumb to slide it flush onto the deck. This is the secret to the trick. 
as your hand comes over, it looks like you're taking the card, when in reality, you're just sliding it back onto the top of the deck. Turn your wrist over too, and this will make the vanish look even more deceiving. As a new small business owner, I find it useful to dramatically stare out of the window so that no one knows I'm secretly terrified inside. The magician takes a deck of cards and they vanish instantly. This trick requires you to lap the box. As you open your hand, use the thumb to fire the box back down into your lap. This will create the convincing illusion that you've just vanished the box. This trick does require a table to perform. The magician visually changes the top card. This is called the Erdenaise change. Use your palm to push forward the top card and show. This will reveal the card below. Then use the base of your hand to pull back the bottom card. This will cause it to slide out the pack. This will create the illusion that the top card has changed. You need to practice this move for a little while before you can perform it. If you are interested in learning incredible card magic, including flourishes, slights, tricks, and more, and tricks that are just too good to reveal on YouTube, then check out my magic course in the first link in the description below. The course contains some of the best tricks ever created. The magician produces a card from nowhere. This trick requires you to get into the JW grip. Place the short edge of the card against your middle finger and then use the rest of your fingers to cover it as shown. You can now reach through and grab this card, and it will look as if it's been produced from nowhere. Nice. The magician takes the deck, turns over the top card, and shakes it, and it changes. This is a very powerful and easy trick to do. Turn over the top card and reveal its value. You now need to get a break under the top two cards. You can do this in any way you please. I use a pinky count, but you can simply grab the top two cards if you like. Place the corners of these cards between your thumb and middle finger, and then using your first finger, rotate the card. To perform the change, simply do this rotation while shaking the card. The card disappears and reappears. This trick requires a single card. Hold the top edge of the card between your first no, finger, you. middle finger, and thumb. Extend your middle feel. finger slightly and pull back on the card. This move no, is called the flip feel. stick. Right. Practice the flip stick until it's fast. Now perform the flip stick under the cover of your other hand, and the card will appear to vanish. The magician takes a card and floats it in between its hands. He then catches the card again. This trick requires some invisible thread. I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy this. It's very cheap to get. It's hard to see on camera, but there's a thin thread that stretches around my hand. Place the thread around your hand and thumb. Then using your other hand, loop it around your first finger. This creates a base where you can place a card on top of it. The card will look as if it's floating. This is incredibly visual and mystical magic. 
The magician has a deck of cards. He turns over the top card. And it suddenly changes colour. This is quite an easy trick. Turn over the top card. And then you need to get a break. And using the hand oh, holding the deck, oh, pull down on the corners of the card. This creates tension. And when you release enough pressure, a card will flip over. Keep practicing this and you can flip the card all the way over. And the card will appear to change. The coin changes into a card. This trick is incredibly visual. This trick requires a coin and a card. Practice dropping the coin onto your hand as shown. This is quite simple to do. This creates the illusion that the coin is gone. Hold the card in JW grip that I taught you earlier and practice producing it by flicking your wrist forwards. Now just perform both moves at the same time. This trick is effective because two visual bits of magic happen at the same time. The card disappears into thin air. This trick requires you to place a magnet on the back of the card. You can use blue tack or glue. You also need a magnet attached to an elastic thread. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get one of these, or you can make it yourself. The magnet will stick to the card. Clip the elastic to your shirt by using a safety pin. When you let go of the card, it will fire back and appear to vanish visually. The card visually changes colour. Hold two cards between your first finger, middle finger, and the thumb. Using your first finger, pull the first card towards you in a snapping motion. Keep practicing this move until it's almost instantaneous. Make sure that the face of the card is angled towards the spectator's eye line so they cannot see the card hidden behind it. This is called the snap change. The magician has three cards. He tells the spectator to focus on the middle card, which is black. He snaps his fingers, and the card suddenly changes colour. This trick requires four cards. I use two jokers, a black card and a red card. Practice the snap change that I just taught you in the previous trick. Now simply do this with one joker behind and in front of the two cards. Your middle finger should be in between the front card and the middle card to perform the snap change. If you've learned the snap change, All this right. trick is very good. It's enough just of that. Even more Get back to business. We're going to go to weather for Philadelphia. Please subscribe to this channel if you have to. Tonight, today, tomorrow. I'll leave a link in the description where you can find it. All right. Oh. All right. Let's get to the weather. It's going to be hot, and tomorrow night it's supposed to rain. We're trying to be a new one hurricane short. Yeah. We retire. Uh huh. We'll wear a bow tie. Go, go, go take a shit. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. Uh, here's the weather. Hourly. From Philadelphia area.
8 p.m. Wednesday tonight, 74 degrees, mostly cloudy. 9 p.m., 71, mostly cloudy. 10 p.m., 69 degrees, partly cloudy. 68 degrees at 11, partly cloudy. And tomorrow morning at 12 a.m., 68 degrees, partly cloudy. 67 at 1, partly cloudy. Partly cloudy at 2, 67. 67, partly cloudy at 3 a.m. 67 degrees, partly, mostly cloudy at 4 a.m. 5 a.m., partly cloudy, 66 degrees. 6 a.m., 66 degrees, partly cloudy. Looks like the sun is starting to peak. 7 a.m., 68 degrees, mostly cloudy. And then the next 12 hours, you got 8 a.m., 69, cloudy. 72 degrees at 9, cloudy. 75 at 10, mostly cloudy. Partly cloudy at 11, 78 degrees. 81 degrees, partly cloudy at 12. One, two, three, and four hovers between 82 and 83 with a chance of rain showers. All right, then, 10 day forecast is Thursday, day 84 thunderstorms, night 68 thunderstorms, Friday, 81 degrees, part of the sunny. Night, 61, mostly clear, Saturday. 81, sunny, night, that day. Night, 58, mostly clear. Sunday for the Philadelphia area. Day, 78, sunny, night, 59, partly cloudy. Monday, 6, 622 for day, 82, mostly sunny. Night, 65, chance of rain. Tuesday, Day 79, 40% chance rain showers. Night 66 degrees, chance of rain shower. Wednesday 84, part of the sunny. Night 69, 30% chance of rain. And we'll just go that far because I don't believe they can predict that far into the future anyway. All right, and we'll go to break at that point. Oh, before we go to break, I just want to say. Uh, again, if anybody wants painting a personal thing, and I did, if they want to get painted, $40 an hour. For example, painting this for a friend of mine and getting a picture, it's not done. Just got started at 23 minutes into it, which I calculated that by about 40. So far, it's about $17 and change. It's 23 minutes into it. And you go to this side again. And uh, we'll go from there. And uh, we will be back.
We're back. And that's it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. See you next time.